Hi guys, this is Gunit. In today's video, we are going to learn about alter command in SQL. So, an alter command is used to add, delete, or modify columns in an existing table. It can also be used to add and drop various constraints on an existing table. So, let's understand this using our SQL server. So, I've already created a table customers, and you can see if I execute, you can see I have a customer ID, first name, last name, age and country. So what if I have to add a column in our customers table that I can do using our query, which is first write down alter table, then cust cust table name, which is customers, then I'll write down add and for example, if I have to add phone and I'll write down the data type, which is varchar and 10. So if I execute it, it says command completed successfully. And if I execute my customers table again, you can see that there is a phone column added with a null value as its default value right now what if i have to modify a column really you can also add you know multiple columns in our table as well so first let's look at that also so i'll write down alter table so instead of this phone comma comma h int right let's just execute it and if i execute this as you can see that phone is already added so let's just write down email here right and if i alter my table you can see Okay, I already have an age num uh, an age uh, column in my table. So what else I can add? I can add email. I've already included. Then I can add gender. So in my So if I, you can see that the multiple columns has been executed. So if I run my customer table, you can see that I have phone, email and gender with the null values as its default values. Then if I want to modify a column, so how I can do it, I can just write down. So I'll write down alter table customers table cus, customers right now I want to modify it. So what I'll do modify column I'll write down alter column alter column and then age. So in my age, I can write down varchar 2, right? And if I run this, it says commands completed successfully. So if I see my, see, so initially what I took, I took, I have changed. So in modify, I have modified my data type for the column age, even though it looks the same, but in my, while creating the table, the data type that we took was integer for age value. But now I have changed it to a varchar data type, right? So in this manner, we just modify our column in our in a table now what if i want to drop my table drop a column in a table so that i can do for that i can just do again alter 
table table name which is customers then then what i'll write down drop so using drop you can just drop column you just mention that drop column and your column name and if i run this see so now if i see my customer table again if i execute it you can see that the h column has been dropped so alter command can be used in to either add a column modify a column or a delete a column as well as you can do you can also do instead of one column you can uh, add on multiple columns as well you can delete multiple columns modify multiple columns and add a multiple column to your existing table so i hope this is clear thanks for watching